All right, hello ladies and fellow sex pests. Check out this game I found, it's called Village Rhapsody. It's just a quaint little game made by some Chinese development team called uh, Yu, uh, Yu Yu Games. Uh, I'll just boot it up real quick. Hmm, I, uh, I wonder what that Chinese character means. With exactly the same size, length, girth, circumference of a Pringles can. <laughs> uh, I guess. I lied. This game is actually fucking horrific. It has a deceptively wholesome aesthetic, which is occasionally broken up by things like this. This is this cute little teddy bear. A donkey's vagina mounted to the wall like a trophy. And profound quotes like this. Human body is profound. Think about it. Breasts are in different sizes. Cocks are in different lengths. Damn. That's deep. This game does have a fair amount of content for a game that's only 450 to be fair. Uh, it's pretty much a clone of Stardew Valley except for instead of fishing out a frog hat or a wall basket, whatever that is, huh? uh, you instead pull out a VHS taper with Hollow Knight and Spy Family hentai burnt onto it. Yo, what the fuck? This is Hollow Knight. Two seconds later. bastard! Yeah, somehow this lake is quantumly entangled with some Rule 34 site. Oh, shit. Insect breeding skills? What the fuck? Anyway, yeah, the game. The premise is you're from the big city, and you come to this village to basically be its shit kicker. The chief welcomes you with open arms, shows you the general store with this uh, glowing endorsement, Man, fuck you, man. and then to your house. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? Then instantly calls you a loser and tells you to go farm. What the fuck? Which is basically what you're gonna be doing for the whole game. Farming shit, chopping shit, cleaning shit, fishing shit. And actually, this is, uh, this is pretty good. <clears throat> uh, anyway, all these activities have intuitive tutorials like this. What the fuck, bro? I mean, you can kind of see where the budget went. Want your big cock. Want the big cock, too? Want the big cock, too. Get into my pussy. Yes, once you've completed a quest, you'll then be rewarded with sexual favors, which the only benefit of is that you can actually use it to fast travel around the map. Ignore this, which I thought was the village task board for like quests and stuff. But it just just says this, so I don't I don't know. No penis, no dick. Everyone civilized, no working in city, stay to build new village. What the fuck, bro? Now, usually quests are almost impossible to decipher because they're uh, apparently translated by whatever version of Google Translate they could get past the Chinese government. What's that? I break down what most quests will be structured like. Uh, there are two to three parts to a quest. The first part is usually getting a certain amount of shit, which you'll have to farm, chop, mine, etc. And then the second part, which is a bit more unique to the quest giver. Yeah, for example, Big Nuts over here, who has this captivating message on the sign outside his house. If you do disturb him, making sure not to place any plates on his doorway, then he'll request you help him uh, with chasing down his donkey, uh, which has escaped. If you do help him, he'll generously offer you DMT, which if smoked, will allow you to talk to animals. Oh my god. I see. Bruh. And uh, obviously he's also having sex with a donkey. Yep. The next day you'll find donkey fucker passed out and tripping nuts. After breaking a few of his ribs, his DMT trance will break and he will again tell you to go find his donkey. Who will then ask you to tell Donkey Fucker that this donkey does not actually want to be fucked. Luckily, he has already found another wife, allowing you to take up the burdening responsibility of becoming the village Donkey Fucker in his stead. By the way, if you want more DMT, then you have to buy some more North American herb seed from the general store. Another quest will require you to farm wheat for this fucking bitch, who will then proceed to throw soup in your face. Smash your fucking head in. All quests will require you to usually enlist the help of these two beautiful men. Where's this guy? Here he is. Out uh, masturbating in the woods. Uh, uh. The butcher and the carpenter, which I'm pretty sure are in some sort of lover spat by the way they talk about each other. Though uh, much to my dismay, the carpenter has actually not finished his grand masterpiece yet. I've seen things. Anyway, this is the house where you'll be growing your DMT. You'll need to hoe, seed, and water the ground in order for your plants to grow the next day. You have endurance down here, which are basically your action points, where each time you sleep or eat, it will refill. 
you can buy clothes for your waifu from here. But I wouldn't recommend it unless you're a kuma like me because they provide absolutely no benefit. Fucking thousand bucks, are you taking the piss? And yes, by the way, you don't get any money off helping anyone. You have to get that yourself by farming your DMT and selling it. I wouldn't recommend mining or lumbering as a way to make money. The optimal strat is selling DMT and other crops, like I said. However, if you need to make a quick buck, you can buy worms from this little gremlin, uh, which you can use for fishing. Fishing montage, go, go, fishing montage. Was Oh, I forgot to mention this person who, like a true Kuma at heart, will ask you to buy porn from the local convenience store for our quest line. Also, you can get the carpenter to craft exterior decorations for you, which will require you to bring uh, wood, fla flowers, and, uh, and, and fish to, to craft a light. Man, China's a fucking weird place. What's that? Anyway. Uh, well that about sums it up. I would recommend buying this game if you like relaxing games like Stodgy Valley. I would recommend you make sure nobody can walk in on you whilst you're playing this game. Uh, also, uh, there's gilfs, so yeah, you should definitely buy it. Let me tell you a secret. Women's milk will float in the water. I have carefully observed it. My parents are making meatloaf in their room. Preparing for tomorrow's breakfast? Hmm, the animal looks peaceful. It'll remind you some organ if you're staring at it for a while. Bruh. I guess the owner should have had a misunderstanding on a grocery store. They are exactly the same as those on the other two shelves. Exactly the same. It seems a variety of products at first glance. But they're just... the... same ones. In change of location. Some curly hair is scattered there. Ah! Grain blowing windmill. The wisdom of working people. When get close, you can tell that the person sleeping in this bed often wets the bed. That oh, stinks. Classic sex enlightenment animation. Hmm. Ah, uh, it smells good. <laughs>